Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Lost Minds of Fandelver one shot. Get these guys unmuted here. Alright, Mondo, take us away. Alright. So now Lost Mind of Fandelver is the um introductory adventure that comes in the starter set of uh the Dungeons and Dragons um cool box set, which is sitting in my car. I leave it in the car in case I have a quick uh <laughs> otherwise I'd show you the box. I think our friend showed us the box. He started the Hold up a second. I have the box right here. Oh, there we go. There you go. There's the box. Yeah, so this is the introductory adventure in the uh, in the starter set. Um, we'll be playing the first <laughs> bit of that. Um, again, we're not actually going to get to a lost mine tonight, unfortunately. There won't be any girls to meet, unfortunately, tonight. So you said. Um, there'll be stuff to do. I mean, there may be girls. We'll see what happens. Never underestimate Cassius Slay. Oh. So I'm going to read the flavor text and, um, and get you guys started. All right, so in the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf <laughs> named Gundren Rockseeker asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Fandolin, a couple of days travel southeast of the city. Gundrum was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brothers had found something big and that he'd pay you 10 gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's Provisions, a trading post in Fandolin. He then set out ahead of you on horse along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of business. You've spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you've just recently veered along the Tribor, east along the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, but this territory can be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the trail. And so why don't we take a moment to introduce our characters to each other, like maybe have a little talk on the wagon as you're, as you're moving along. Yeah, I assume that probably uh, Cassius is probably playing or doing some sort of... Uh, Cassius is uh, definitely strumming a ditty on the uh, liar. He ain't um, no liar about it. So uh, Justin Might is just meditating in the corner, just like ignoring all distractions and just thinking about his... What hope to be fiance in the future to streaming hope to be um let's see what's a uh, creature's character's name i didn't <coughs> what it brevere mm -hmm. um okay what's she doing she's just kind of sitting in the car a little giddy just kind of like patting her hands on her knees looking around at the scenery as they're going Mondo, are we all on horses or do we have a cart? You are driving a wagon. Okay, we're driving a wagon. Okay. Yeah, you're you're driving a wagon. Who is actually driving the wagon? Uh, I would uh, bet. Not Cassius. I would bet it's that. Uh, skill. Yeah, Messi's probably doing it. His background is that he's kind of a guide, so he probably tries to take the lead on some Wait. of that stuff. Okay. Pause. Messi. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure I heard that right. Yeah. Um. What was the character's name that was with us? The NPC guy? Uh, Gundren Rockseeker. He, oh, okay. he moved on ahead. He moved yeah, on he ahead, moved on. okay. Oh, Rockseeker. Um, so is Hallwinter with us? No, yes. he, he went with Rockseeker. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. So we're, going uh, to, we're trying to catch up with Rockseeker and Hallwinter. So I'd probably... Yeah, they're gonna with the town of Fandolin. Yeah, so I'd probably look at these guys and just be like, don't, don't you guys think it's kind of weird that they, they left us alone? <clears throat> what kind of uh <laughs> what kind of stuff would they even have to do in town they were supposed to be kind of like our guides and now i'm stuck guiding again i would suggest that they would uh just leave us with the materials that they would have just so we could keep it safe you know just little things like that hmm. but where do you think they went they tried to go off to town without us they were supposed to be helping us Maybe they were busy. We we have no uh, we have no thought of prying on their business. So why would we bother? Uh, well, I have no 
right recollection as to what could be the reasoning behind their actions, but there are employers and we're going to have to put a little bit of faith in them. So that's yeah, all I, I got to say on the piece. Revere, you have any, what do you make of it? I don't know. Um, they, I mean, they must think that we're, I don't know, pretty capable if they're leaving us back with the cart or I don't know, maybe they just have an important business and we're not supposed to be in that business. So we can just, you know, have to stay with the cart and travel along. So, you know. Madam, may I just say you have a wonderful accent. Oh, uh, thank you. I got it from my mom. That, that makes an awful lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of side eyeing him, like, mm. what? You, you, sir. I'm just driving the car here. You have no sort of accent. That's Do true. you want me to compliment your voice? I would. We, we're probably from the same parts, don't you think? Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so yeah, we're just riding along. Yeah, and who knows indeed? You. I do. <gasps> I really do. Man in the sky? Is that you? <laughs> I am Jesus. the sky. Who's, am, uh, what's a hey Zeus? I've, I've never heard such a name before. Um, Just one of the gods that I pray to. <laughs> one of? Is you one of them weird multi thingies? A little bit, but... Enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you like to do? Multi thingies. M multi Besides swoon some beautiful ladies. Uh, well, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna. He's gonna uh, adjust his uh his hood a little bit and kind of just pull it off, revealing his form as a tiefling. I'm I'm not exactly a looker in most cities, but a gentleman never kisses and tails. So we're gonna leave that one there. On any other part, I'm a I'm your standard uh bard. I just try and spread cheer wherever I go, keep people's morale high. You know, world's a dark place, and being pessimistic and spreading that darkness ain't gonna do no one no good. That makes sense. Say, can you play us a little song while we're on the road? Oh, I sure can. What are you gonna play for us? I don't know. What do you uh, What do you want to hear? <laughs> I you definitely want to hear. So I don't. I don't know. I, I just. I was suddenly attacked by the uh, giggle bug. If you allow me to uh, fix that with a. Is there a song about a giggle bug? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, any songs about giggle bug? None that I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> Strange man in the sky who asked that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't, what, what kind of song would you like to hear, Mr. Uh, Messy, was it? Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know, something about maybe the, uh, the land that is on here. Something about nature. Maybe something about animals, something like that. Something about animals. Maybe a poem. I don't necessarily need to hear, hear a song, just something. <laughs> well. God, I suck at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh. We march this land to our sovereign's song. The nights are short and the days are long. Our endless toil. Shall we entrust and with our friends till boon or bust? That's about all I got off the top of my head right there. I'm going to be honest with you. Justin nods at him while also smiling. That was surprisingly, th this is out of character. That was surprisingly good for me <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> out of character as well. That was actually like really good. All right. I'll play it, sir. <clears throat> yes. All right, so you've been driving this wagon for uh, for for a bit, and um, you've been on the Tribor Trail itself for about half a day, 
As you come around a bend, you spot two dead horses. You're only going to see one of them because I only drew one. You're going to see two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you, blocking the path. <coughs> Each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. I stopped the... The woods press close to the trail here with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. I would stop the cart immediately. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'll, what am I just laughing? Here. This is an atrocity <laughs> amongst. <laughs> what am I just I don't matter for, 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 this, uh, <laughs> for this first um, little scene. <clears throat> okay, oh, so man. that's that. That's how far we are from it when we stop. Oh, uh, you're about. You, you see it like about fifty feet ahead. I think you're a little further than fifty feet, but like you know, yeah. Like you come around the, this bend and like, yeah, there's that dead horse. That that sir is well over seventy feet. <laughs> Here, I I'm will, saying. I yeah, I mean, I can tell that it's far away, but oh, there we go. We're a lot closer now. <laughs> You're <laughs> about fifty feet ahead of you. That's fifty five. That no, first dead up. horse that stop. I said was invisible is a, uh, yeah, the invisible dead horse is right in front of you. Oh. Literally it's right in front of us. Directly in front of us? No, no, no. In front of the, like here, like where that. Oh, where, where it is. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's. That, all right. That sure makes a lot of sense. Uh, I, I stopped the cart. I would get off and uh, let's see. I believe because I have. Can I see? Can I make a perception check or anything to see if. I'm holding my breath so I don't you said that You said that we could hear arrows, <laughs> like, or we could see arrows, black feathered arrows. Yeah, there, there was black three black feathered feather arrows each in each horse. Can I make a perception check to see if I could tell if those are the horses from the guys that left? Like yeah, absolutely. Type of yeah. thing on them. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh yeah, man. These those are those are those horses. All right, that's all right. definitely uh, Gundren and Sildar's horses. Like, well, it would uh, it would appear that my little speech about faith and trust in our employers was misplaced and i apologize for that i, I didn't even necessarily think they weren't capable of surviving i just thought and i'm kind of like whispering um i kind of just thought that they were going to do something shady but now they might be dead um so hold hold off stay here for a minute and i'm, uh, I'm gonna check things where you uh <clears throat> yep. walk off in that direction I understand, like, looking for freshness of the bodies or anything, but let's just assume that these were killed recently and our employers ran off, right? I would walk up with the uh, ideal that there's someone still around here watching. Oh, I, I mean, abso absolutely. I would I would definitely say that. And with that, not. Cassius is going to go ahead and he's going to try and, like, hide, like, right here next to this tree or bush or whatever this is right next to him. Uh-huh. He's going to hide and kind of keep a watch out as unmessy as he walks up. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are you actually trying to like hide, hide? I want a stealth roll, please. Yeah, go, please. Please make a stealth roll. My stealth is a plus two. Oh, rip. <laughs> you. Seven. Hey, man. Someone might not see me somewhere out there. Yeah, so you got that leaf like in front of your face there. I don't even have the leaf. I'm like using my hands instead of the tree. <laughs> like, see, like looking over my hands, like if I can't see you, you uh, can't see me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm making Cassius slay a cowboy hat somehow, some way. Okay. Uh, and I kind of jaunt her up. Are you going to let me get all the way there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I tell how? fresh if, if it's been a few because they they left like not that long ago so yeah they, they left like a little bit ahead of you like about a day or so okay. about a day and a half well um yeah yeah when you get closer these are definitely the horses belonging to gundren rock seeker and solar hall winter okay. they've been dead for about a day and it's clear that the arrows killed the horses if yeah <laughs> but the um the saddlebags on the horses that's that little brown thing i put on top of that terrible looking horse yeah the saddlebags look like they've been looted. There's an empty map, other map case, like over here. Okay, and I I look back to the the party and I just what uh, all did they give us to hold on to when they sent us off? 
Um, what do you mean? So we're supposed to be. They wanted you to hold. I might need a re re uh, flavor text. Uh, What exactly are we doing for? What's his rock rock whatever rock? You are are delivering a wagon of supplies to the town of Fandolin. So we have a a A wagon wagon of supplies. Was Mm -hmm. there anything that he had on him that we knew about? That's like Um, that was like directly connected to the supplies. Like maybe there's some chests and he had the keys. Maybe no, there was no. like a map as to where he was going, like something that we knew he had that we can look for in the saddlebag. No, nothing, nothing that you knew that he had, just that he was um he had he's claimed that he had found something big. And um yeah, he was a little secretive about his reasons for the trip to Fandolin. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna look for footprints. Uh, mm-hmm. because he Cash just already gave up on being sneaky. He wants to walk up. Okay. Yeah, and I would look and be like, "Whoa, just stay, stay back here. Hold on, just a moment, and I'll make the perception or investigation." Did you want investigation? Yeah. Oh, so what, what are you investigating? I want to see if anyone has walked up to the saddlebags. I could see maybe where they've gone or where they're going. Can I want to roll a perception as I walk up to see if there's anyone around us. Like if I see any kind of shifting in the trees, maybe a mm-hmm. moving shadow. If I hear anything, I want to roll that. Yeah, all right. Um, Messi, you definitely find some, like, footprints, and it seems like something had been dragged. Okay. Um, Cassius, go ahead and give me a perception check. Perception. 14? Yeah. You see, just in time to see, there are, as soon as I walked up, I was like, I said, fuck it. I probably shouldn't have said, fuck it. Um, well, as he's like looking, I'd be like, "Look, it looks like there are something took took these guys." Um, uh, it's not you know, just... Messi. I a hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> I do think something took these guys. And he slowly points his arms up directly at what he sees. I think uh-huh. it might have been those things. Yeah, and as as you're saying that, those things look like they are drawing bows to start shooting at you. Perfect. And. Dang it! I was really hoping I could get one thing off before they did that. Well, they're 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 not a uh, you know they're they're not they're not attacking yet. But okay, so off off over by the the second horse, the one that's more towards the top. Uh, yeah. I want to cast minor illusion real quick. Interesting. Um, we'll see where you are in the initiative order. Okay. Dang it! Yeah, because they're. We, uh, uh, question: uh, How do we roll yes. initiative? You go to I'm, your uh, cr- uh, character sheet, and then it'll be like initiative, and you just click on the word initiative. All right. And then just make sure. Yeah, we're good. You can manually add it if you click on Damn, your token. Damn, girl! If you click Jeez, on your token. About. Um, Look at you. If you click on your token and then you click initiative. That. I'm so proud of you mm-hmm. right now. Then it will actually automatically add to the turn order. All right. I'm just saying, like. If I didn't have my modifier, one of those things is going before me. <clears throat> so, uh, Pixel rolled a 13, Mondo. Okay, let me add him to the... Uh... Oh, uh, let me just see if I can do it again. How, how do you do it from uh, the map? Just, so just you highlight on. your character. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, just click on your character on your token. And click turn order. Nope, just... Um... Just click on your character, go to your character sheet, and then click initiative. Yeah, yeah. all right. Then it'll automate. Okay, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's even worse. Perfect. <laughs> well, no, we'll, 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 use, we'll use the first one you rolled. I'll just all change right. here. Yeah. But at least now you're in there. Yeah, okay. Now I know what to do. Yeah. That's why it's one shot, folks. That's why <laughs> it's one shot. Yeah, you're learning. This is the this is good stuff. That's why it's a pickup game. Yep. Sure. Okay. Oh, thank God it goes two of us first. Yeah, so Cassius noticed the goblins and kind of alerted you guys to their presence. They're over here! <laughs> Revere, did I say that right? Yes. Yeah, can you see that one goblin like that's closest to you or the other one? I can see the one closest to me. Yeah, he seems to be like getting up. He's got like a bow and arrow. He looks like he wants to shoot somebody. <laughs> uh-huh. but you got the drop on him. I'm going to firebolt him. Go for it. Ah. Nice. 
Yeah, you hit him with a fire bolt for nine points of fire damage. I'm so proud of my point right now. It might save my life. <laughs> what does it look like when he... Oh, I didn't put in my dead macro, but he's dead. What does it look like when that happens? He bursts into flames and turns into um, goblin jerky. My friend, right. what color are your flames? He is now goblin jerky. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to do? You want to move or anything? Oh, there's a... Why is there another one behind us? Oh, yeah, there's there's a couple more. They saw that fire, and they're just like, yeah, they're making themselves known. Hmm. Um, no, I'm good where I am. Okay, all right. Gosh, you see... Fuck! <laughs> it has an 18 initiative? Fuck Jesus you. Christ. Yeah, he got a pretty good initiative, this one. So this goblin here, he's got his short bow out, and he's just like, that tiefling saw us. Oh, and he misses completely with an eight. Let me turn off the GM rolls here. I got GM rolls going. I don't know why. I don't want no GM rolls. What is it, just naturally GM rolling? I don't want that shit. Come here. Always whisper rolls. No. Never whisper rolls. There we go. All right, yeah, but he missed you. He rolled an eight. So his arrow missed. And he's like, Mah! And you can retaliate. Feel free to retaliate, Cassius Slay. I do not like the tiefling, and I missed him. Oh, yeah. I don't like the tiefling. The tiefling doesn't really like you. And the tiefling also wants to still cast Minor Illusion. Okay, what would you like to Minor Illusion? I'm just going to put that out there for all the people to see. Sure. So, with my minor illusion, mm -hmm. as I'm doing, uh, you create a sound or an image of an object within range mm -hmm. of the, the that lasts for the duration. The yeah. illusion also ends if you dismiss it as an action or cast this spell again. Is this this is an action, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna create an image of Cassius. And it's going to be, I want it to be, it's within 60 feet. Jesus. And it's, you're, so you're creating an image of yourself? I'm creating an image of myself over here. Okay, it would be like a five foot high version of yourself, though. That's it's fine. No, higher, no larger than a five foot cube. So it's like little Cassius. Maybe. I imagine Cassius isn't all that tall, and in the heat of battle, it's not <laughs> going to be much different. Plus, he wears like a, a hooded cloak over his sure. leather armor, so... Probably just throw on the hood, cast a cast a minor illusion over here. Sure. And then he, I want it like when I cast it, I want it to look like it kind of came out of nowhere and is running at the. Uh, it just, it's not necessarily moving, but it looks like it's coming at the uh, goblin that uh is trying to shoot me. Okay. So, so you've created like a a little a mini Cassius there, a five foot Cassius to like start running at the, the guy that shot at you. Yep, and then okay. who, who goes next? We have a monk, and then what's Messi's class again? Sorry, sorry. Barbarian, barbarian, I'm oh. barbarian. Barbarian? Oh, perfect, you big, beefy, and you're a great shield. I'm gonna give inspiration to Messi, if I can. That's a bonus action, right? Yeah, it's a bonus action. How, how, what, what, what are you doing to grant inspiration to him? Mm. I don't know if I want to do a song or another poem because <laughs> I'm worried if I do a song, it's going to suck. But I'm worried if I do a poem, it's going to suck as well. well. Remember, it's also bonus action, so it's not going to be a long one. So it can't suck too bad. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. Inspire what is me. He's a black dragon? Yeah. Dang, I can't say anything about that. That sounds racist. Say something about like nature, animals, anything like that. When you look at the forest and you really start to ponder, <laughs> you think how you gotta kill these little peeper over yonder. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Okay, cool. That is, I am yeah. feeling inspired. Just an, uh, 
Oh, just in my ear says, and he just silently claps. Yeah, I just like, I just take, like, he takes a moment, and he just tips his uh, hood. I like it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you are inspired, Messi. Perfect. Please we- don't let me die. <laughs> and this goblin, <laughs> this goblin here on the other side, he's just like, yeah, my dragonborns are just as bad. <laughs> and he takes a shot. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and he, I didn't want to auto roll damage either. I'm doing the. Um, <coughs> you take five points of piercing damage. I'm using the uh, what do you call it? Um, the average as opposed to the, the actual rolling. rolling. Okay, five. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you take five points of piercing damage. Oh dear, shit sucks. Okay. And he's oh. like, I got him. And it will be Justin's turn. Justin, what you got for us? So, noticing that Messi and Cassius is are being attacked, mm-hmm. he decides to he said he decides to run up to one of the goblins, <laughs> or at least try to run up to one of the goblins to just hide in the bushes and wait for an sure. attack. He's yeah, actually, I'm going to run up and throw my spear at uh, this goblin uh, right here. How do I the uh, ones that's closest to me? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that guy. So, one, two, three, four. Now he he's in he's in some bushes and stuff. So I mean, uh, he's got That's some true. cover. So he's gonna have a little bit of a bonus to his armor class, but you, that shouldn't stop you from trying to kill him. That's true. Okay, so I right click my spear. No, you can just uh, click on it on your character sheet. Just uh, click oh yeah, in the just weapons and attacks. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then if you click, Boys, I'm learning so much about bar- click, bard. Click the name. The you name? can roll the damage. Yeah. So if you so in the the chat bar, if you uh, click spear two handed, then it'll roll the damage for you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you hit him with your spear. He takes five points of damage. I don't know what's up with this like attempted to make rolls thing. I, that just probably a dev problem. Yeah. But yeah, you you do uh because we are on the development server. He takes five points of damage. He's got your spear sticking out of his side, and he's like, no. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to do before ending your turn? You you could I don't know if you I don't think you used all your moves or um no that I have 25 and 5, 10, 15. Yeah, that's all my movement right there. Oh yeah, because that's right, you're a halfling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that's all I can't do any bonus action. So Okay. All right. All right. Messy, this guy. Yeah, that guy shot you, man. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, he's not cool. Um, I'm going to uh grab my trident mm-hmm. off my back. I'm gonna like pound it against my chest. A little war cry, so I will rage. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, um, now you're raging. I'll move forward here, so I'm next to him. Make sure. Yeah, let me put him actually in the box there. And I will try and two-handed stab this guy with my trident. Go for it. Motherfucker. Yeah. It wait, gets wait. caught on like a tree branch. Hold on, hold on. I have my bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, it's a D6, right? Uh, it is. Yep. Boom. Nice. That's exactly what you needed. I'm a fucking great bard. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. Yeah, so it gets, your trident gets caught in the branch there. Like, it gets caught in there. And it's just like, you just remember feeling so inspired that it just breaks the branch. And man, tell me what it looks like when that goblin takes 12 points of piercing damage and goes to meet his goblin maker. Yeah, I'm going to like, it's going to come out from from like below him and it's going to hit mm-hmm. him in the stomach. And that's how I like pick him up. And uh, when he's like, blood is coming down the trident and then I stab him back into the dirt. Nice. I feel like we're looking at the same thing here, creature. This is awesome. <laughs> And that's pretty much all I can do. I can't end my turn. I got you. I can enable. Can I enable that? Do you have that macro? Hmm? Do you have the macro for me to end my turn? You should be able to click the little button in the chat. I don't know if it worked. I mean, I already clicked it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. This goblin down here, the one that's dead, he continues to burn. Let me get him out of the turn order. All right, this goblin over here that got like hurt by the spear, he's like, 
he's he looks down at the spear and he's like motherfucker <laughs> and he's gonna take a shot at you with his uh with his short bow <laughs> i think at justin oh and he does he hits justin with his <sighs> short bow for a total of five points of piercing damage yikes all right He's like, that's what you get, as he's like clutching. He goes back to clutching the spear in his side. That'll be the end of uh, the first round. Revere. I'm gonna firebolt this one all the way up here. Which one? The, 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 that one. Top one, the top one, yeah. Okay. The, the, the very top one. All right. 16. Yeah, that hits him. Five. He takes five points of fire damage. He's, he's, yeah, he gets all burnt up and stuff. And he's like, no, fire is bad. And what's with this little guy running at me? (laughs) I don't understand. The one at the very top, right? Yeah. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. All right. So this goblin is like, yeah. And he's trying, he's just like, I'm going to shoot the little thing. And he's going to take a shot at your illusion, Cassius Slay. <laughs> um, what, what's Cassius Slay's armor class? 14. No, yeah, so he. No, it's 13. It's still higher than that. Yeah, he's, he's st- he still misses. So he's like, because it's smaller and he was like looking at you first, he like aims too high and it goes flying over mini Slay's head. And. Um, <laughs> He seems to be freaking out about that. Run. <laughs> and it will be your turn. Are you having your little guy run towards him? Uh, no. Still? You see, you wait, he's up in a tree? No, he's like in some like thick bushes and stuff. Would you say that I could get to him? Yeah. Yeah, so he's 25 feet, and he's focused on mini-me. He is focused on mini-me. He's focused on mini-me, so I'm going to go. And the fact that he's on fire. He's on fire, focused on mini-me. I- Boys, I'm going in with the rapier. <laughs> oh, Lord. 10 to hit. <laughs> yeah, so you miss him with the rapier, and he's like, where did you come from? And he's like, I uh, came the from on the shoulder. a bush. Uh, <laughs> and so, because I have three more of these, thanks to my charisma modifier, I'm going to look at, <laughs> I'm not going to look, I'm just going to scream back to Justin. <laughs> like, oh, well, Justin... <laughs> Please kill this man. You must win. Take hold of glory while you can. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Inspiration for Justin. <laughs> can I just I can I just say this? Can I just say this out of character? I just imagine Justin ignoring him. He just says, What? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's like a jingle right there for something. <laughs> Well, Justin, I'm not. Right, so I'm not Justin. going into these songs empty-handed anymore. I had, <laughs> I had one written down for Justin. I need a new one. I have one for Brevere. So, Justin, you have a dose of uh, bardic inspiration when it's your turn. Cassius, if that is the end of your turn, do me a favor in the chat. Click that little EOT button underneath your um, underneath your token in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Good. That worked. All right, this other goblin continues to be dead. He's like still hanging off your trident. So let's get him out of the, uh, let's get him out of the equation. Justin, use All my right. inspiration well. Justin. Okay, wait. How do I do the little arrow thing? Actually, one, five. to see how far something is. Yeah. It's the little ruler or comb-looking thing in the uh, okay. toolbar on the left. Okay. Okay. So. Like, I don't know, like, back in my, uh, out of character, back in my old D&D sessions, we, we used to, like, make these, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we just doing that, or are we doing, like, actual, like, if this is 20 feet, I can run up to him? Yeah, you, you can run up to him. Okay, so. Yeah, there's settings for me to modify the diagonal movement, but we're just gonna. This is one shot, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so I run up to the little goblin, and mm-hmm. I just whisper to him. Ready to die, punk? <laughs> so I don't, I don't like, okay, so I want to just take my, like, rip the spear out of his shoulder as I say that. Okay. So what should that be? Spear one handed? Because I'm doing it with one hand, pulling it out. 
Yeah, let's say let's say spear one handed. All right. Okay. Yeah, you you. Actually, I'm gonna roll this as well. So, eight. Yeah, I just dig it. I dig it deep in him and pull it out. Okay. All right, digging your spear deeply into him, causing eight points of further piercing damage. He's just like, I wasn't ready to die, but my spleen. <laughs> and he does do that thing that he wasn't ready to do. What does it look like when you do that thing? When I just jam my spear inside of him? Yeah, and make like, him dead. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the spear is hanging off his shoulder or wherever you say he is. And I just mm -hmm. grab it by the... <clears throat> I grab it by the middle part or the hilt, as it would seem, or is sure. that, yeah. And I just drive it into him and pull it out while smiling and I'm just saying, good enough, hit me. This is what okay. you get for it. All right. <laughs> and I, uh, how do did I- Did he need inspiration when he did that? Or did my inspiration go on you? No, I didn't, I didn't need the inspiration. Yeah, he's, he's still, he still has it. If he, if he still needs it in the next, like, what is it, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's still got it. I have a new song written down, guys. I can't wait for more inspiration. All right, All right Pixel, so if you just click that little EOT button underneath your uh, token in the chat. All right, the EOT. Yeah, under the token. little pink button. Little pink button? Uh, let me see, where is that? There it is. Right, yeah. Yeah, there you go, okay. Um, I'll run my 30 feet over mm -hmm. and I'll toss my, my one of my javelins. Sure. 13. Yeah, your javelin is going to miss this guy. Okay. He's just like, ah, yeah, on all sides. <laughs> yeah, I'll go right between his legs. And that's <laughs> all I can do. All right. This goblin continues to be dead. Let's get him out of the turn order. That's going to take us back to the top of the order. Brevier. Oh, another fire bolt on that guy. Yeah, you hit him. So he's just like, he just manages to put that fire out. And you hit him for another point, four points of fire damage. So basically what you're telling me is that Cash has heard. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm right between her and it. Yeah. And what does that look like? Tell me what that looks like when that. When I can tell happens. you what it looks like. It's right in my face. <laughs> Creature, we can't hear you. Come he, he turns into a goblin jerky and then turns to dust. So I'm yeah. a teeth. So I'm a tiefling. So I, I'm and I'm a little bit country. If you couldn't tell, so I, I'm a little worried that that jerky is gonna look really appetizing. No, he turned to jerky and then he disintegrated into dust. That's that's lovely. Okay, so he, no no goblin jerky for Cassius. Yeah, understood. Oh Cassius man, is now disappointed. It looks like you guys have killed all of those goblins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bless you. <laughs> I tell you what, I have never been so nervous in. That's not true. Last time I was in a fight, I was just as nervous. I'm not very good at this fighting thing. He's gonna step out of the bush. <clears throat> Did you see? I killed like two of them though, and I set them on fire. You you did remarkably well. Like. Remind me never to piss you off. Like I can do stuff like that. Like I can set things um, on the fire or I can um, shock people. Or if you have like really moldy cheese, I can make it taste like not so moldy cheese. Well, uh, that last one actually sounds wonderful. And as I say that, I'm gonna snap and my minor illusion is going to disappear. I can also do that too. Isn't that one just so nifty? I mean, it's okay, I guess. I kind of, I kind of like it. Every now and then, you just kind of have to minor illusion your way out of a situation. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna search a bunch of dead goblin bodies. Oh yeah, man, these goblins—they've got things like scimitars. They've got short bows. I'm gonna take me a nice little short bow. They are wearing leather armor and they've got little, little goblin wooden shields. I'm like 90% sure I'm already wearing leather armor and I don't think I want a shield because I'm taking one of their bows. 
and every yeah. arrow I can find. One quiver that I'm going to wear around my belt, like some real G shit, and I'm going to flip that bow in there, and I'm straight up going to be like a bow and arrow equivalent mm-hmm. to having like a revolver. <laughs> okay. Good God. It's a short bow. Right. That is as close as I'm getting right now. Do you understand me? Sure. <laughs> and it's not just a short bow. It's a goblin short bow. True. <laughs> I'm not proficient, but I can kill. Um, I'll retrieve my javelin if you'll let me. Absolutely. Walk over there, grab it. Messi, I just want to say, you did an excellent job with that kill. Thank and you. I feel like in the smallest of ways, I was able to help. So, I did like your little jingle there. It was good. I didn't feel so as involved with you, Justin. I'm not going to lie. Well. I feel like I my just, song went in one ear and out the other. Well, I just had a little uh, talk with the little goblin as he jammed an arrow to my side. So You, uh, gonna... you talk to things as you kill them? I do a little. We're going to have a conversation about that at a later date. Anywho, right. what we need to do right now is we need to conf- we need to reassess this situation. Our employer and his buddy have seemingly disappeared. There are two dead horses, a bunch of dead goblins, and I'm starting to piece together maybe how the horses died, but not so much what happened to our employers. Well, if you look over here, they were actually dragged, which was what I was trying to tell you before you spotted these guys. They, they're this, drag marks. This is some information that I am very sorry I interrupted, but I feel like our lives were worth it. <laughs> they dragged them away and they ate their bodies. You think they ate them? The goblins yeah, they, eat people? I don't know, do they? The I mean, stories say they do. Listen, if there is a, a, a woman that can turn goblins into goblin jerky, then goblins might eat people. I'm, I'm not saying there's a correlation but i'm saying at this point i believe anything that's probably that, that's that's kind of weird I, I don't know i don't think goblins eat people they might i don't know do you talk to people while they stab you with an arrow and then kill them that's weird that is weird. we're just gonna accept it and not talk about it like it's not a thing it's <laughs> a little weird he shrugs it off <laughs> whatever you say it, it's no offense to you justin i'm just kind of worried about one of my party members mental health <laughs> um, understood this is where the, the drag marks seem to be leading off to the northwest i drew, <laughs> little, I drew some really shitty drag marks um uh, before those, i do those anything are magnificently fresh drag marks <laughs> <laughs> they weren't there a couple of seconds um it's i'm gonna weird. place my hand on like the horse um, mm-hmm. And say like a quiet prayer, uh, like some maybe even not even like a draconic god, but like a druid god that has to do with something with nature or something like that. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'll stand up and just be like, all right, guys. Uh, I think we should go this way. This looks like where the we got. We You're have to there. find these guys. These guys are paying us. I ain't gonna keep moving us uh, wagon across the road. Get attacked by goblins for no money. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not down with the whole ambush for free so i would like to go find the people who are paying us perfect so is that what you guys are doing i'm just uh i'm agreeing with them and say we should just go back to the to when we're gonna get paid to just like well we might have to even think about before we go the cart but that's where all the that's all the supplies <laughs> Uh, I would also like to think about maybe a strategizing on how we're going to do this journey. Not saying we should take any long rest. I would like a long rest. But, uh, you know, I know it's a short journey, but some of us use abilities and attributes that don't recover over short times. <clears throat> um, Mondo, how far are we from the town? Um, you are probably about a half a day away from the town. Oh. Half a day, so 12 hours. So if someone's driving the cart, Cassius Slay can be asleep in the back and regain all his shit. I'm all right with that. <laughs> the longer we take, though, these guys could die. 
well, that's that's where the decision comes in. Do we follow the tracks or do we assume that we can take up the tracks from town and ditch the cart of supplies, which would lead to us not being paid even if we found them? I say follow the tracks. Can we take the cart with us to follow the tracks? Yeah, just so it won't get stolen. All right. If you want to follow the tracks, at least take the cart. Well, it goes through the uh, it goes through the thickets in the woods. You're not going to be able to get the cart very far. I However, will. you're pretty sure that there's a pretty secure place you can leave the cart. All you right. Tie the, you can tie the 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 oxen or horses up, you know, and like kind of like leave it behind the Persian ox. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty valuable beast of burden. Um. We'll just push the cart. I'll like steer the cart over to like the side or wherever I think would be the best mm -hmm. spot, and maybe like take a few seconds to uh, like hide it a little bit. But I guess if there are living animals attached to it, <laughs> it's like it's not going to be too unnoticeable. But I'll do what I can. Sure. Can I can I roll a survival or a uh, uh, what would it be to just like try and hide these to the best of my ability? What a uh, Skill would that be? Let's let's call it a survival. Yeah. All right. Uh, would it be survival? Okay. Fifteen. Not so bad. Yeah. So using your survival skills, you you like fashion yourself like a little like a like a nice little kind of dugout area in the uh, in the in the thickets and the brush, and they seem to be pretty well hidden from the road. All right. As long as they know they're safe, no harm will come to them. Yeah, messy. You're you're an experienced god. Is there any kind of like tales to the land or any kind of past information you might have that might tell us what kind of terrain we're walking into here, so we're not going in completely blind? You, Mondo. What would I know about the area? Can I roll history? Um, something. Do you want me to roll? Or could he roll? I would. He... I would like you to roll survival check. There it is. Bam. Like, you know, checking out the uh, area. 13. So great. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you know, thick, thickly wooded and thicketed and blah, 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 blah. blah. And, um, but you also recognize, like, on this path, like... Uh, so as a wanderer, I do have that as well. Don't know if that helps me here. I don't know if I've ever really been here. Mm-hmm. Geography. That's exactly what I'm asking about, though. I'm asking about the uh, geographical, like, tells of the land. Yeah, it's like it's like very hilly. It's like you'd be going <laughs> hills. hills. Okay. Yeah, so just through through a thick forest. Uh, and what's the road? Is the road kind of like is it like flat though, or have we been going up and down and around and all that kind of stuff too? The road's been mostly flat, okay. although it has like gone up and down, like in you know, a little hills yeah, and turns we'll and stuff. Um, so, well, like, you know, most of this like hilly area is like to the sides of the road yeah does okay. that mean that like the path would be going into denser forest or it's going into more of a hills because if it's big rolling hills we don't have a lot of cover when we're walking around it's hills with trees on them it's like a hilly forest okay you know, there's, yeah. you know it's like a like black like forest in germany i wonder who else has used that place <laughs> um <laughs> so i look to him and say well uh, all i know is that once we get off this path although this was flat and easy to to drive through um uh, we're going to be going through some some hills going up hills lots of trees thickets it's not going to be too pleasant but they can't have gone too far dragging two full grown men through this so uh they're probably not too far away if we hustle yeah and it seems like you also notice like probably about a dozen goblins have been coming and going oh, along this switches. like trail um yeah, and I'll point. I'll be like on a knee, pointing around. Uh, you can see twelve distinct footprints, and four of them do look like we just killed them. So maybe about eight left of what I know. Dead. I would. I would agree. They do appear dead. Well, I meant those are four that were here. It's not twelve plus I don't, these four. I don't understand what you're saying? So what you're saying is, at a very bare minimum, which I don't believe for half a second because God knows. I'm talking about you, GM. God knows it. When we get there, there are some that didn't come this way. There's gonna, there's gonna at least be eight waiting. Math sounds. 
All right, if you guys would like to take a short rest, you could do that and spend a hit die if anyone, like, because a couple of you are wounded. I'm not sure how badly. Everything I want to regain, I need a long rest for. Okay. Yeah, uh, how, do I, uh, how do I roll for a... Uh... Um, on your character sheet? Uh, it's yeah. in like the middle of it and it says hit dice if you put one in that and then you roll it it will or if you just click on the hit dice part of it it will roll for you exactly okay that's just enough i need to regain full health <laughs> uh, let's hope we get in a fight in the next 10 minutes so that the, the that uh inspiration i gave you wait how much hp did you lose uh five. Oh, okay never mind i was gonna say if you lost more than seven inspiration <laughs> would have been worth it just put me in the front of battle. I'll be fine. Well, I mean, if we don't get you in battle in 10 minutes, it's going to whoop, gone, and then I only have two more for the day. I'd say all the looking around and, like, picking up, like, arrows and stuff, it's been, like, 10 minutes. Nah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you don't have inspiration anymore. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, can I put down a short bow and stuff in my... Yeah, sure. If you look it up in the compendium, the uh, the eye over the chat there... Like um, if you type in short bow, one word, like you can just drag and drop that into your character sheet along with the uh, like arrow, arrows, arrows. Did you give myself a plus one because I'm evil? No. Don't tell you? <laughs> no, no, I could look at your sheet, man. Come on now. Yeah, but you trust me, right? <laughs> do I now, Mr. Can I do this because I'm evil? <laughs> trust yes, you, you do because I didn't do it. <laughs> said it i said it in theory who wants to carry cassius for eight hours so he can sleep i'll do it i just i just want this goddamn inspiration back and carry this goddamn wait hours. is minor illusion a cantrip i believe yeah. minor illusion is a cantrip i don't have any spells used so literally the only thing i need to be at 100 percent is my two inspiration that so i get you're great you're in great There's shape man shape I am in yeah. great shape, but You're I'm fantastic. also I'm also paranoid, and it's a one shot. <laughs> yeah, I'll just if if we dally anymore, we're 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 go. Dead. they're dead. Go. We gotta go. All right, uh, all right. Okay. So you guys are gonna start following the trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, what what sort of order are you guys going? And like, what's your marching order gonna be? Cassius is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I'd go first. That's okay. Cassius will go second, I think, at this point. I'll be behind uh, Revere. So she won't get attacked from behind. So our two tankier people are on the outsides and then two spellcasters in the middle. Mm -hmm. Even though one of them is not an offensive spellcaster yet. <laughs> so just like this, like I've placed you here? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right, so that's what's happening. You guys are going to start making your way down the trail. Uh, explain to me, like, uh, tell tell me how you're tell me how you're going to do this, like going down the trail. Are you just guys just following it, or? Yeah, well, I think as um, like as a guide, I would kind of like, know I would know, and as a wanderer, like I would know the area, um, or at least the type of terrain. So I'd be looking for like broken sticks and uh, continue following the trail. Um, making sure, like, if trying to look for, like, animal scat and sh stuff like that to make sure we're not going to get, like, ambushed by bears, wolves, and the like. Um, but, yeah, pretty much just walking, walking, looking around, being perceptive and following the trail. Cassius okay, cool. is also going to be uh, keeping an eye open, uh, perceiving everything that he can, whether it's a uh, maybe some sort of, like, goblin-y makeshift trap on the ground or whether there's more goblins hiding in thicket because you know he did so well last time looking for goblins he did do pretty well looking for the goblins so cassius is also going to want to make a perception sure i can roll that um yeah if you'd like to roll a perception like an active perception check you can absolutely do that okay 16 yeah, you see like goblin, um, like little goblin bits and pieces, like a goblin button. Um, you a know, button. Yeah, like, like a button off of like a goblin's, like, you know, armor. Fa fancy. Well, I was thinking like a vest, like a little <laughs> fancy a little vest suit. he wears, like over his armor or something. <laughs> but, uh, Messi, as you guys were going along, 
um, with, with your passive perception, as you're looking about 10 minutes heading down the trail, you notice a snare in the uh, on the path. Okay. Um, that 16 is better than my passive, so I'd rather have that. Um, I, I tell everyone to stop and be like, if you if you look, there's there's a trap right there. A, a little snare. Um, I'd like walk up to it carefully and try and uh, like, deactivate it. Snap it. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's that's a pretty easy thing to do. It's like you know, it's like a rope. It's like one of those things where like you step into the rope and yeah, like you know, grabs your foot. Sheesh. Yep. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I like I like toss like a twig into it and let it, you know, go snap forward. Yeah, that happens. Like, see, there. Maybe they knew we were coming. Maybe the uh, the gentleman, uh, Gundry. Maybe he told them that we were coming. Trying to get him to leave him uh, leave them alone or something to try and whatever. Call me but, uh, call me crazy, crazy, but I'm not a uh, I'm not 100 percent sold on goblin intelligence at this point. Maybe it's just a. You said a trap though. It is a trap, but maybe it's just a normal trap, which I would then assume they because you know they probably just want to protect themselves at all times, not necessarily just because somebody. They kidnap somebody. Directly on the path that we're walking where they dragged them? I don't know. It's... Well, it seems like it's also directly on the path from the path. That was a bad sentence. Anywho, <laughs> well, I'm, what I'm a... trying to say is that even if we tried to go off this path, there's probably just going to be more. So what I would suggest is being a little bit more incognito as we walked up, but we're probably getting pretty close. Maybe I don't know, uh, but yeah, we continue forward. I would okay. continue walking. Yeah, continuing forward on the path, still, still looking and stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. Those of you who are still looking and stuff, if you're using your active perception, go ahead and give me an active perception roll. Does my active still count from the last roll, or because I was always actively perceiving? Um, well, you you would need to roll again. You found that button. This is going to be about ten minutes further down. That the button took over all of my active. So, Damn. So can he just yeah, help? Man. Can he just help me and give me advantage or something? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. Yeah, I have a plus yeah. four, so. Oh wow. Oh man, we didn't great. need it though. Oh, give me. You know what though? That's great because even if that was a bad first roll, the advantage would have given you a twenty. So I feel like helping you was the right choice. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Messy around 10 minutes further down the trail, you just notice a camouflaged pit. Like, you just like look at that roll, look at that man. Yeah. It's like, you know, it wasn't really that well camouflaged to you. It was a kindergartner that made can, it. Can I ask, is this like, is this like an actual path or just like, like it's worn? This is a worn path or something that is, yeah, like, it's like, like, yeah, it's like a worn path. It's okay. like an. Creatures have been using, you know, this path for quite a while. Okay. You know, yeah. Let's just say, well, here goes another one. There. Here we go. Yeah, it's about six just... wide. Yeah, and I just uh, take my like my javelin or my uh, or I'll take my trident and like brush off all the the leaves and stuff that was blocking the the hole. Yeah. Cassius is gonna turn back to Brevere and Justin and be like, "You gotta love the classics." <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's about ten feet deep. Uh, the walls are not steep, so I mean, like, it would have been easy to to scramble out. But had you like stepped into it, yeah, it would have been a bit of a tumble. Yeah, like, watch your step there and keep your eyes open because they're, they're setting stuff up for for whoever they usually hunt or whatever they think is them. So let's go. Can I roll stealth and like just like be with the group, but still like in the bushes? So like if we find enemies, they can't see us. They can't see me. Yeah, yeah, you could do that so they wouldn't see you. All right, so I'm gonna roll stealth. Eighteen. Okay. I want my next perception roll to be like a nineteen, <laughs> so like I can see all this stuff, and then I just noticed Justin. Like, what did you pull? All right, so the path twists and turns and moves and flows and stuff. Yeah, stuff. And um, you eventually come across like a little creek along the path. And um, as you're uh, 
I got to pull that thing up, man. Come on now. There we go. You come across a large cave in a hillside about five miles from the scene of the ambush that you guys were at. There's that small, shallow stream flowing out of the cave mouth, screened by dense, briar <laughs> thickets. There's a narrow, dry path leading into the cave on the right-hand side of the stream. I'm going to move you guys there now. Now. Perfect. Now. 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 Oh, now. Now. Okay. now. Now, oh. all the people in chat have made fun of my last map. Like, I drew this, motherfuckers. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the map that comes with Lost Mine of Fandelver. They don't give you one for that first thing. But yeah, so... Um, <gasps> can, every, can everyone see? Justin, can you see? I can't see, yes. Okay. Well, that's right. I got a light source like on the outside. Okay, yeah. So you guys see this cave... So, the cave is here? Up here. All oh, right. okay. Yeah. Um, And I would just take a deep breath before we start going and uh, and maybe, like, wash the blood off my face in the stream. Um, and then be like, well, the cave's right there. Uh, we should probably, I don't know what the best way to go in, but we should be quiet. Um... And go forward, yeah. Just move forward. Okay. And I would step to like right here. So what? Uh, okay. What's yeah. this way? Cash is gonna go ahead and follow him. Yeah, God, that's so cool. I'm going to uh, move. Uh, just oh wow, this is actually like really cool. But uh, I'm going to move like just in between, <laughs> like just to get like an outside view. Just outside of them. Mm -hmm. We're very, like, see we're if very the area is safe. What's going on? What's where are you going? Taking a look at the deer. I said Brevere, not just uh -oh. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a look at the deer. <laughs> yeah, Messi, you see like uh, some sort of like movement from like down that area you were you were looking at. Okay. Like so something something's kind of moving. Um well, like not not quickly, not like uh not stealthily, just like something's just kind of like you know. Well, I'll just make a quick check to see if I can uh, figure out what it is. If that's cool. Yeah. Um, if I can see, maybe if I can notice if it's like humanoid or if it's like a four-legged animal or something like that. Even if I don't know exactly what it is. Um, oh, that's the wrong what? Thing. That's That is me. That is that, messy. That you. Who is this man? That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying man to get... my dreams. Yeah, you you don't really uh you can't really see what's what's making the movement, but you hear like, and you hear like a voice in Goblin go, yeah, from there. Okay, um, and I'll tell everybody there is something down this way, and I point in that general direction. Cash is gonna come over to this bush right here and wants to stealth. Okay, yeah, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. You going like into the bush? Yes. All right, go for it. Please be better than last time. Eight. Why? Okay. <laughs> it's like stealth is... I'm like a rogue in a ranger main. I'm not used to not being able to hide. <laughs> um, I accidentally like drop my, my lyre and then I kind of strum it a couple times and I realize what I'm doing and I put it away. Yeah, as as you bend to pick it up, you can see through the through the bushes that there's a couple of goblins sitting there looking a little... They were looking a little bored. This one here, I don't see um, any. Yeah, you don't. You don't really see him. One of them kind of like, like looks up, like when you drop your wire. Do I have to actually press dark vision to turn it on? No, you should automatically have dark vision on your character sheet. Um, if you do something like if you light a torch to see better, um, and then you snuff the light, you'll need to click the dark vision button again to get your dark vision back because the uh, snuff will completely lose your. Where are these? goblins at that i can't see them they're, they're behind some dynamic lighting wall here let me move that there you see that guy now oh so <laughs> right there so what i yeah. did right here's what I, here's here here's a little acting for you from cash's okay groff's liar 
turns around as he's putting away, stops mid action. Uh huh. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Help! <laughs> yeah, and this guy, like, when he looks at you, he yells oh, something. Does anyone speak really goblin? Fast. No, I did not choose a goblin. Anyone speak goblin? Uh, let me see if I do. Uh, where do I see? This is an unfortunate turn. I do. And I, I do really not speak goblin. That you don't kill me, sir. Okay, if no one speaks goblin, the goblin, like, once he sees you, he, like, looks at you, his eyes go wide, <laughs> and he goes, he's like, fucking whatever that means in goblin. But, did he just yell butt fucking at me? <laughs> <laughs> it like butt fucking, didn't it? I swear I have never been so insulted in my life. If you didn't hit me first, I would smack you silly, boy. Where I'm from, that's disrespectful. All right. So. And I have a couple songs. I can sing <laughs> As the other one yells, but fucking. <laughs> the other guy's just like language, and he's going to take a shot at you with his uh, shorty sure. bow. Nani. No, Nani. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to miss me with that one. Miss, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Miss me with that gay shit. <laughs> the arrow goes, goes wide. And like, um, yeah, and they they just like, you know, they're, they're just like getting ready. Like no one was surprised because you dropped your liar and it's going to be your turn, Cassius Slay. These goblins are all what I'm going to do. The, the one in front of you, he seems to be drawing Cassius his scimitar. was caught off guard. It's yeah, true. Gonna attack with my rapier. Mm-hmm. It was a 10, so I probably missed. Yeah, you miss him. He's just like, man, what's up with that? So, gonna Cassius is going to do the only thing that he has apparently done right in any fight. <laughs> and he's going to give some inspiration. That's inspiration. Yeah, does he, does he want to do that yet against these two goblins? Uh, it's only two goblins? There's just two goblins right here. Yeah. Damn there's it. Two goblins. I don't want to so, do that if it's only two. Yeah, no, I was about to so, say, it's like there's this whole, you're not even in the cave yet. What's my, what's my bonus? Oh, God. What, what can I do? I, if I was a fucking rogue, I can disengage and run. <laughs> not until second level. Oh, that's right. I can yeah. do it eventually, though. Fuck. I could also just take a hit right now, or a possible hit, and get over it. Mm, I'm just gonna fucking risk it for the biscuit, guys. He's gonna hit me regardless, so I'm gonna run over here and take that attack of opportunity. Okay, yeah, he takes a swing at you. He's just like, yeah, he does five points of slashy damage. Holy shit, a twenty-two! Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> and if that is the end of your turn, go ahead and click that Wait. little pink button in the chat, or you got something else? I just th I just thought of something. I just don't know if it's a what what it counts as. <laughs> What'd you think of? Tell me. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end my turn. But it will happen next time. Okay. On Dragon Ball. All right, Brevere. Um, uh... <laughs> you can. I think you can definitely see at least one of those guys. You right. Hit me with a scimitar too. So I'm just like yeah, holding my abdomen. Move over, and then. I'm gonna fire bolt Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, you do, man. You hit him. He's just like, I got it. Him. <laughs> and as he turns around, he like he catches some a little bit of fire in his face. He just tickled his nose a little bit. <laughs> Ow, my nose hairs. Ta-da, free waxing. You're welcome. <laughs> oh wait, no, that was my action. That's right. Is that gonna be the end of your turn? Yeah. If you click that little pinky button there. Oh, yeah. Uh, no worries. All right. Messy. I'll slosh through the water. Yeah. Stand next to him. Uh, <coughs> I should two, really be leaving this uh, physical violence to others. Two-handed. Right. It. Son <laughs> of a bitch. Oh, man. Yeah. He's just like, look out for this one. As he's like brushing fire out of his nostrils. Yeah, that will that will miss him. No advantage for flaming nostrils. <laughs> no, no advantage for flaming nostrils. Okay. 
Damn. I, All right. Guys, I can't I can't deceive the GM. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunate. So I'm going to run up to mm-hmm. the ones, uh, this goblin right here. Fuck. Yeah. And I'm just going to hit him up <laughs> with my spear two-handed. Sure. All right. So click this. Wait, I clicked it. Oh, uh, wait. Right above you in the, probably. If you're looking at the very bottom and under item name, you want to scroll up for the ones that says attacks and spellcasting? Yes. Yeah. I, okay, there we go. Yeah, they both. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, just, what the, yeah, I don't know what happened, but burn all those bad ah, ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do I? How do I? How do I uh, delete it? You're good. You're no. good. Yeah, no, you're yeah, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I okay, missed now. either way. You did. You missed with the two-handed spear. However, as a monk, even at first level, you can make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. It doesn't have to be a punch. You can flavor that as a kick or a headbutt or something. So, if you'd like, you can now make an unarmed strike. I would like to do that. Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? Should say unarmed, probably. No, yeah, it doesn't. Say. It doesn't say unarmed anything. My only attacks are spear one-handed and spear two-handed. Oh. Yikes! I mean, he can just roll an attack with his strength oh, modifier. Hang on. I'm throwing it in there for you. All right. Whoa, editing in in a video. This is so <laughs> unprofessional. All right. That's my middle name. Oh, man, look at that. Unarmed strike. Well, it's plus Whoa, seven. Zero the plus whole seven time. Is like, wait, plus seven is too high, isn't it? Yeah, it's like plus two, I think. It should be his dexterity, though. Oh, so no, yeah, your dex. Your dex pl- dude, plus seven. It's your dex plus your proficiency bonus. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I just... I miss with my uh, I miss with my smear, and I just flick his forehead. <laughs> Backhand for, this bit for how much damage? That's what we really need to know. Oh man, good old oh a, sl- a, a flick for seven damage. That shit hurts. No, backhand him. Are right, you flicked his forehead? Nothing else. All right, you flick his forehead. It's Tell dead. me what it looked like when that make him dead. That would make him dead. <laughs> Yeah, so make him dead. Dented his forehead with a single finger flick. So, as a monk, I know all the vital weak points of a person, and I have been studying up goblins in my recent in my <laughs> recent years. So, I run up to him. I miss with my spear, and he goes, "Aha! You missed!" But then, I study him for a second while he says that, and I just flick with my forehead in his right temple, and he just falls flat on the ground. Okay. As he was going for that flick, you just heard Cassius in the background. Justin might kill this. Now, you wouldn't have hit him with your with your six, eight, or nine anyway. Yeah. However, um, as a monk, you can use your dex for that spear as well. I did modify that. So you'll have plus seven with your spear next time. Okay. Yeah. Instead of the plus, uh, instead plus of the four you had, right. Have I said... Any D and D player would splooge over that character yet, because any D and D character yeah, twenty would at level over that is... character. Nice, yeah, yeah, it is. Fuck. All right, yeah. So you killed that guy. Is there anything else you want to do? You do you want to move anymore? Or do you just want to kind of hang out there and like enjoy your kill? Um, can I roll a stealth and just like cover my position, like I was not there? Nope, that would be an action at this moment. Eesh. Then I would just stay like You're above his body. Okay. <clears throat> All right. He's he's dead, so he doesn't get to go, which is going to bring us back to the top of the order with this other one here. And he's just like, shit, shit, shit. And he's going to move back like five feet a little further into these bushes, and he is going to take a shot at Justin with his uh, with his short bow because he just saw you flick his friend to death. And he's so terrified of you flicking his friend to death that he just like shoots like randomly like into the air, like He's just like, mm, king. And that is the end of his turn. He's just like really freaking out. Cash is slay. Boing, what you got, right here buddy? In the, of the river. And uh, yeah, he's how far from me? 20 feet? He's like 20 feet, yeah. Let's, let's go and take a look at this here uh, short bow. Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah. Take a look at the short bow. Oh, fuck. That range is 80 to 320 feet. <laughs> Fuck it, we're shooting. Yeah, shoot him, man. Yeah, that happens. 21. You hit him. 
So this is about as straight face as Cassius can be. Yeah. After being hit, mm -hmm. he just goes, "Go fuck yourself." Okay. <laughs> All right. He takes an arrow he like in his country as he said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> Yeah, he God. takes the, he takes that arrow somewhere in his like torso, and he's just like, no. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. And if that is the end of your turn, go ahead and click the button, unless there's something else you wanted to do. There's nothing I can't do, so I'll press. It. All right. Please kill this thing. Right? Yeah. I feel like I'm fucking through. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Crisp. Revere, goblin killer. Tell me what it looked like. Goblin slayer. <clears throat> this one, it's gonna like hit him like square in the chest. And he's it's just gonna look like he's spontaneously combusted and just burst into flames and he's running around. He's like, oh, I'm on fire, I'm dying, and then he just drops dead. Mac. I'm on fire and dying! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, he be dead. Um, Mondo, when you can, can you check Discord? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna, in the time being, real quick, I'm gonna move the goblins, uh, like in the bushes. So if any of their other like scouting parties are coming out, they're not gonna see two of their dead goblin friends. I'll have to look for them. Okay. Yeah, so you're able you're able to move those uh you're able to move those bodies. Cool. Um Yeah, and then I'll kinda once I'm done with that, I won't say too much, just kinda uh do the same thing that I did with the horse, kinda pray over them, and then and leave. Go all kinda up the the rock or the cave. Excuse me. A wee bit. What's everybody else doing? Yeah, Ash just is uh, picking up his shirt a little bit and staring at this giant gash in the side of his stomach. Ow. <laughs> and then he's going to cast Cure Wounds on himself. Oh, nice. Because he doesn't really have any other point to his spells besides... Like, as, I, as I look at this in this one shot, not a lot of these spells are very helpful. Cast Slay might have to be a reused character somewhere else but for now he's just gonna cure wounds first level and heals myself for six and so his abdomen s closes and leaves a nasty little sl uh scar but you know it's all good i'm not hurting anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start following messy perfect what okay. uh so i decide to loot this goblin and what items would he have? Oh, Jiminy, fuck me, Christmas. What is that? All right. Looting the goblins, Justin might. For some odd reason, they seem to have short bows, scimitars, leather armor, little wooden shields. Um, one of them is wearing like a, a vest, like a little fancy vest over his armor. You're it's missing, missing a button. button. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, Why am I he's, so all, he's also got a little pouch with four little flasks in it. I should have picked up his button and offered it as a sign of peace. Fuck! I'm gonna... Justin's going to take his vest and the four flasks with him. Yeah. Spread that piece of shit. The right. flasks are labeled. Healing well, potion. Just in case. Just in case? Just in case? Oh, Just hell in yeah. case. Nice. Hey, Justin, take those. We, we J might need them. Just in case, you say? Yeah. Oh, man. All we right. We might need those. Okay. Meanwhile, in inside the cave. Messy. Just inside the cave mouth, there are a few uneven stone steps leading up to a small, dank chamber on the east side. It narrows to a steep fissure at the far end and is filled with the stench of animals. Mm. Yeah. Can you can you see? Mm -hmm. Barely. But I can see him. Yeah. There are savage snarls <laughs> and the sounds of rattling chains. 
<laughs> rattle, rattle. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, we could. We got a couple wolves. Those don't look happy, partner. I shouldn't do that. I'm going to upset my dog. Aww. Um, oh. Oh, such a good girl she is. I would take a uh, ration or two from my pack. Yeah. And try and just calm them down a little bit. See what I can do. Oh, dear, yeah, sure. You got me feeling a tad um, bit nervous with this turn order still up. Are we still in combat? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Let me drop that. You are not still in combat. Just so that they're not, like, barking or something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Um, so you take a ration to, like, kind of give them some food. Go ahead and give me an animal handling check. So good. Oh, man. No, they're still... They're still snarling. They 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 stop for a second. They sniff your ration, and they're just like, "The hell is this shit? <laughs> Rations? Are you kidding me? I uh, want some meat." Um, yeah, they still start growling. They're still growling and shit. I mean, no, maybe I'll maybe I'll no, sense no. that and I'll be like, "Um, it seems like they might be even hungrier than expected." Someone grab a goblin, and drag him up here instead. Justin. <laughs> yeah. Can you please bring us one of the bodies of a goblin? Uh, I'll roll strength check just so, like, I'll be able to lift him. Excuse Are me, you... big big monk man. Can you please bring us one of those micro goblin bodies? <laughs> Justin, what's one your of those strength? things that's like a knapsack to you. One of those things that you can hold in one hand. If you can't pick this up, you will never hear the end of it. <laughs> what, what what's Justin's strength? Uh, uh, Justin, what's your strength? It is fourteen, I believe, right? Oh, you don't need to make a strength check. Yeah, you can you can haul that goblin Jesus. over there, man. Having me worry over here about fucking monk. I mean, I was my strength is fourteen. I just wanted to be sure that they weren't like fifteen or something like that. Yeah, no, you can drag that. Dead. You can drag oh, all right, body over there. Yeah. Well, I was just lazy then. <laughs> okay yeah so you drag a dead body over there <laughs> ah, thank you kindly yep and I'm gonna take that fucking goblin I'm gonna toss him in that pit so that they okay alright yeah they, they they sniff the goblin and they, they seem a little unsure of it but yeah they start like tearing into that goblin they're, <laughs> they're eating some oh there you go they're eating some they're eating some goblin there, man. Perfect. Um, I'm really nervous to have Cash's Explorer, but at the same time, I'm used to playing Rogue, so I used to explore. Um. Oh my God! I saw the blood just raining out of nowhere. <laughs> They're having a field day in there. It's really literally like it. dark to me because I can't see it right now. It's just blood. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much blood. Um. Yeah go all right why don't we take a break here perfect please. um and uh creature is going to be leaving us for the evening creature thank you so much for, for joining us yes yeah. she's got work early in the morning so all right we'll right. take take off and then yeah. we will yeah and then we'll talk about whether we're going to continue or take uh like cut it off for the night and then maybe play again next wednesday or another day so Give us a second. Yeah, because we can absolutely do that. Yeah. All right. Give us just a moment, guys, and we will be right back.